Hi, my name is John Nesbitt. I'm the CEO and founder of The Customer Factory. And you're here because someone probably recommended us to you or uh, said that you might want to check this out uh, because they're having success with us. And I want to give you a real quick rundown of what makes us different as a company. Most people have worked with marketers previously uh, and they've been maybe disappointed. Um, so a lot of marketers promise big and deliver mediocre to less, right? Or they're inconsistent or something like that. Um, and I want to tell you that, that we made several changes when I built this company to what's normally done in marketing. So we have some, some key improvements in the entire process. And I want to give you what those are. Uh, the first number one thing we know as a company is we know what our job is. That's our biggest difference. We know what our job is. And what is our job? Is it to get you leads? No, it's not to get you leads. Is it to make you famous? No. Is it to get you clicks to your website? No. It is to get you new people in the office that you can close for care and build your dream practice with. That's our result. That is the result we are working to get for you. And anything short of that is not, is not good enough. And we know that, and I don't just say the lip service, you'll see later at the end of this video, you'll see how I actually have nailed that in, have baked that into our entire process, so you know that I'm not just baloney here, I'm actually telling you what we really do in our actual goal, and you'll see that we actually do more than the average company does to make sure you get that result. And that is how we built the company, and that is how I've been so successful, and that's probably why the person who sent you over here recommended you come check us out, okay? So the first key difference is, we're specialists, not generalists. Marketing is a huge area, right? And if you did marketing for restaurants and lawyers and whatever else, shoe stores and things, that's a lot of area to cover and no one could master that. We didn't even try. We picked healthcare marketing and we've been focused on that for since 2012 and we've gotten really good at it. We have hundreds of successful campaigns for any different area within this zone. I refuse to take clients who are not within our lane, right? Who are not part of this group. Uh, probably like you are, who are in the healthcare practice. That is what we specialize in, and from, from, from focus breeds mastery. It's an old quote was, you know, if you focus on something, you actually eventually master it. Well, good, we've been focusing on this for years, and I believe we've mastered it. And that's the number one thing you find. Someone can come along and offer me money, uh, but if they're not, they're not the right kind of office, they're not the right kind of client, we don't take it because we don't want to get distracted from other stuff. So if you're a lawyer, I'm sorry I can't help you. If you're a restaurant, I'm sorry I can't help you. But if you're a healthcare practice, you have found the home that you might, probably, might be looking for. The next thing that makes us unique is, um, unlike most marketers who will come at you and they'll tell you this, and they're gonna explain that, and they're gonna tell you this, and they're gonna do this, and this is how it really works, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's great, yakety yak. We listen to you. We focus on what is it that you need? What do you want from marketing? What kind of people are, have you had the best success closing? What kind of cases would you most like to see are the most profitable for you? Not just the highest ticket thing, but the one that actually makes you the most money or, or that you're most comfortable delivering. What is it about your area that's different? Because every area, every market has its own influences and differences, and you will know these more than anybody else. So we ask you and we find out. That is the basis of the beginning of the relationship. We want to find out what it is that you can convert into the dream practice as you want. So what kind of fuel do we need to provide to you? What kind of person should be walking your door? Who do you want to see? Uh, where do they live? All that stuff. We don't assume anything. We know generally what works, but we need now to work out what is it you need to see to be successful. And that is almost different. That's different in almost every case. So we've learned to ask and to listen. And then we keep on listening because we say, okay, we provided that. What happened? How'd it go? How were those guys, right? And you give us feedback. We're in constant two-way communication. This is a cooperative relationship where you tell us what's happening, we, we make changes and tweaks based on that with other data, and then we change it and, and see if it improved. And if it's good, then okay, are we maintaining, are we making it better, you know, that kind of thing. It's a cooperative relationship and it starts with us listening to you. The next thing is, unlike most marketing companies, I don't have some whiz kid in the basement who's just good at marketing. I don't have like two or three, but most companies have like one or two guys, it's Bob or somebody who's like, he's just really good at running ads, he knows how it all works, and you know, as long as you leave him in his cubicle and give him enough coffee and pizza, he'll keep getting results, right? That leads to inconsistency, and here's why. Because you've got one or two guys who know what to do, and the rest of the guys are sales guys or whatever else, and these guys, if anything happens to either one of those two guys, they quit, they get sick, they get overloaded with too many clients, right? Your marketing will suffer. So if you ever worked with a marketing company and they did really great for a little while and then it kind of, uh, maybe they had a personnel change because uh, they can't deliver consistently if you, if you depend on that. What I've done is built an entire pro uh, company based on marketing process. 
right? We have different processes that create the results. We have all these inputs. So what's Facebook telling us? What's the market telling us? What are clients telling us? What, you know, from all over the country, we have all this inputted data coming in. I actually have on staff, I have an analytical mathematician and two logic experts. People are trained in that stuff uh, who take that and work with an AI system that we have and process that and, and work out the signals every day, sometimes even hourly, on what's happening with different campaigns. If a certain set of campaigns for some clients in one area of the country go up, we look at that and figure out what caused that, and then we create a new rule, a new algorithm part of our thing, uh, and that then rolls that out for the other clients, so everybody sees that improvement, right? If one set of campaigns starts doing poorly, we figure out why that campaign's doing poorly, and we, we fix it uh, before it gets bad. Our, our goal, if, if something's happening with a campaign, our goal is that we noticed it and fixed it long before the client did, because it's our job to watch it. Remember, we know our job. Our job is to be good at this, and our job is to have it be a repeatable process that we can do consistently, so that you can then count on a consistent flow of people coming to the door. It's not just booms and depressions, and I'm not sure what happens, and let's try something new this week, and you know, all these things. No, if someone can't produce it on a process basis, they don't really know what they're doing. I mean, would you agree? So if someone were to come in to see you as a healthcare professional and you say, well, sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not. No, I mean, no, you've got a process. You've got a process that works. So we've done the same thing with marketing. We've got a marketing process that works. All right, so once we've generated someone who's interested, we've, we've identified the right kind of person and we've actually gone out, run the marketing, and we've got someone who's interested, who says, yes, I want an appointment with you. We have two different ways of making sure that person gets in your front door. Our first is an automated system. It's a relentless follow-up machine, a relentless fanatical level of follow-up. Uh, it uses text messaging, it uses emails, it uses voicemail drops. Uh, it even has a way to contact your office and then make the phone ring for the prospect, and so you both end up talking together that way, right? It's actually a live, direct connect between the two. We do everything we can using automated software, our automated system, to make sure that as much work gets done to bring that person in so they make the appointment. And once they made the appointment, that they show up for the appointment. And that once, if they didn't, if they missed their appointment, then it follows up with them mercilessly to reschedule them for that appointment. We don't let them drift away. They were interested at one point, they have a problem. Let's make sure we fill that need, right? Uh, and then if once they do show up, to, to track how many of them actually stay for care and how much that, that person was worth to your practice. And then we can tie back the entire value of what came in from our marketing program. So you will know any moment you want to know. You can click on a button on, our, on the web page, web screen, and you'll be able to see how much money you've made from our campaign for the week, the month, the year, whatever it happens to be. You'll always know if you're making money with a program. And that's an important thing because our job is to make sure that you are prospering from our program, not breaking even or maybe or hopefully it's working out or, or no, we're going to show you it's working because if it's working, it's easy to prove, right? So we do that. Now, once the automated system System is, is in place and running, we know that you, it's a foolish thing to try to automate everything. This is healthcare. This is dealing with a very important subject for people. It's in, in, innately a human contact business. So your new patient schedule, whoever handles the actual scheduling, they'll have, have to handle live phone calls. They'll have to handle the live text conversations. There's a certain amount of skill that's needed in that person. And unfortunately, most people are not fully trained in how to do this. What I did is I went out and I interviewed the top schedulers uh, in the US, the people who are getting like 80%, 90% of arrival rates, like just do a really fantastic rate. hundred. Somebody had 100% arrival rate for a while, right? That kind of thing. And I sat down, not with the doctor, I sat down with the new patient scheduler themselves, the person, right? Uh, uh, they actually all have to be female. All these girls who actually really knew how to do what they did, and we asked them how they do that. And we said, well, when they ask about insurance, what's your answer? And when they do that, and I took all that information and I compiled it into a small, short, easy to digest set of videos that you can then sit your staff down in front of and they can just watch these short videos and it will teach them how to handle every kind of thing coming in. So the person calls up and they want to know this. How do you make how do you make a really sticky appointment? How do you know make sure the person they don't just they got a free appointment or a free consultation or something. That's not much how do you make them value that? How do you make them like afraid to miss that? How do you make them like, oh gosh, I'm so glad I get to see this doctor. There's ways of for example talking up to doctors so they go, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I'm getting in to see him. Uh, they wouldn't even scalp those seats, you know, those tickets, right? They, they, they want to have that appointment. There's a, there's a whole way that this is not Grant Cardone level sales stuff. It's just simple, easy, proven techniques. I also include all the, all the, the scripting and things that you can need, they can train people with. But the, the, the simple thing is this, all you do is you sit your new patient schedule down in front of this set of training videos and you let them watch it. And just like, you know, in the matrix, shh, I know Kung Fu pretty quick. They know how to do it, right? And they go out and do it. And if they don't do well, you'll be able to see in your tracking system. Remember the automated follow-up system? 
also shows you all the numbers. You can see if they're falling down in some area and you just have them rewatch a video or two, or if they have trouble, they can rewatch it. Or if you get new personnel, you need to you know, train them quickly. You can sit them down in front of the video. We give you unlimited training access uh, to, as a client. So we've got the automated follow-up, and then we've got the personalized touch, how to actually deal with people. And the total goal is that we want you to maximize every new patient opportunity. Everything that comes around, even, even things that have come from our marketing, you should be able to handle a walk-in and close them, with uh, get them to make the appointment and stick around using these techniques. And we give that to you as part of the program. All right, now, everybody says this about their company, our staff are the difference. But on our company, the staff is the difference. Let me tell you, it's almost impossible to get a job working at my company. Uh, we are very picky about who we hire. We do IQ testing, we do personality testing, we do aptitude testing, and that's before we even say hello to you, right? If you're not really above, above average, we don't bother because we know that uh, this person is going to be dealing with thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars of ad spend uh, per week and per month, and they're dealing with clients and your business, and it's really important that they be professional and be good at what they do. We take that raw person coming in, they're, 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 they're uh, above average, lights on kind of person, and then we train them mercilessly. They're not allowed to be on the job until they've been trained for several weeks, intensive training on how do we do our process? How do we handle things? How, you know, we have everything is codified, written down. Remember, I'm a process guy. So we train these guys mercilessly until, and, they, and then they apprentice under one of our master campaign managers until they're really good at it. And after about six months, then they're kind of fully on the job, right? That's the kind of person that you'll be dealing with. That's your contact person. I just have one of those. Everybody's like that in our place, right? So that person, actually, you won't be calling them because they'll probably be calling you. Uh, the, the job of the campaign manager is to be that listening ear and that feedback point and to help guide you and give you strategy and give you ideas of what's going on with other places, help you make the best advantage you can out of our, out of our program, right? And how do I judge these people? Uh, here's how, here's how I, I, I judge whether they're doing their job. Every month or so, or actually every few weeks, they're going to contact you and they're going to ask you the magic question. The magic question they're going to ask you is, doctor, are you making money with our program? And then they're going to be quiet and they're going to listen to what you say. If you say anything other than, hell yeah, they're going to say, all right, we got to fix something, right? We need to know that you're making money with our program because that is our job. That's what you're paying us to do. You've got to be seeing, not only do you have to be seeing a positive ROI, you've got to realize that you're seeing a positive ROI and know for sure that confidently that that money you're spending is for sure working. Because uh, if, if you're not sure, why, you know, why should you continue, right? And that brings me to my last key difference with us. This is how I tie all the rest together. If you've ever been asked to sign a marketing company uh, contract where they say, okay, sign a six month contract because of you know, reasons, blah, 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 we have to set stuff up, blah, 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 whatever baloney they make up. It's baloney, by the way. If someone's ever asked you to sign a, a, a marketing contract, it's not for your benefit, it's for theirs. Can you imagine hiring somebody and having you sign a contract and say, okay, uh, yes, I'm gonna be your front desk person, go ahead and sign a six month contract that you'll pay me no matter how well I do, you're still gonna pay me for the next six months to be this, this uh, schedule, this front desk person. Well, what if they're terrible? You should be able to get rid of them, right? I mean, come on, everybody works, should work on that basis. Well, what's, why shouldn't a marketing company work on that basis? So my company, since the day we started, we've never had a long-term contract. We are month to month, which means you can quit at the end of any given month. You, you just be done. There's no liability. You're done. It's over, right? And we know that. Those campaign managers, those bright guys that I hired, I talked about, right? Uh, the analytical mathematicians, all those guys, we all know that every client could quit at any moment. Right, And that keeps us hustling, that keeps us hungry, looking to do good, looking to do better, looking to impress you, looking to be the best service experience you've ever had. Right, That's what keeps us going. And I think that's the only fair way to do it. So you can see why the campaign managers are asking you every month, are you making money in the program? Because really, that's all that really matters. And we know it. Because what? We know what our job is. All right, so those are the things which are most obviously different about the customer factory and the marketing program that we built. There's a lot of details, there's a lot of other stuff, like we have territory exclusivity, so we only take one client per area. Um, so hopefully your area is not taken. Uh, we have other things. Here's what you need to do next. If, if you said, hey, if you watch the video all the way to this, to this far, I'm gonna tell you you're interested. There must be a reason you're checking out a new marketer. Take the next step. Here's the next step. Uh, somewhere around this video will be a place that you can actually schedule a service demonstration. One of my guys will sit down, they'll do a video chat with you, they'll actually show you, share the screen with you and show you our marketing campaigns, show you the automated system we have, show you the training program we have, show you everything about our program with the kind of, even estimate the kind of results you might see based on what kind of practice you have. 
We're also gonna find out what kind of practice you have because not every practice is a good fit for us. You kinda of have to be a certain size and have a certain level of sophistication for it to work. Now don't worry, I mean, we, you know, it's pretty inclusive, but I will tell you this, we have a, a firm policy here. We don't accept any money from anybody we don't think we can be successful for, because why? Because what well, we'll have you for one month, we don't make money on having a client for one month. No one wants that kind of relationship, right? We only wanna have take on board people that we think have a really good chance of being successful with us. Uh, and we don't we literally refuse money from people who, who aren't that way. So go down and schedule a demonstration. You can choose any time you want uh, and, and find out more about this program. Find out if your area is open and then find out if this is a good fit for you. And hopefully it is. And hopefully this is the beginning. One striking thing, all the stuff I mentioned to you before adds up to, we tend to keep our clients for years, years. Remember, month to month contract and we most of our clients have been, uh, been with us for years. So. Hopefully you're our next client to be successful and I look forward to seeing you on our program.